Good morning, YouTube. How you guys doing this fine day? Hopefully good. Uh, today, I have a special unboxing. Been trying to get my hands on one of these for a while now. Uh, think of this as like your bark box type video. I know you guys used to love the bark boxes. If Molly didn't have so many darn toys, I would. But, I'm trying to get my hands on this for a while now. Oh my gosh. PS5. Finally, Molly. I haven't even opened this thing. I've had this since, uh, what's today, Tuesday? I've had this since Sunday. Is that right? Yeah. I've had this since Sunday. Haven't opened it yet. I wanted to do a video on it, but man, it's been killing me. Killing me. So, uh, Burr, my, my lovely wife Burr, got her hands on one of these. Finally, we've been trying for weeks now. All the scalpers and all the, the bots are buying them up. Uh, just a bad, bad thing in general. So, all right, let's open this bad boy up. I am super excited. Obviously, I've been a PlayStation owner for a long time. PS1, never had the PS2, but PS3, PS4, now the PS5. Uh, let's get, let's get into this. Let's just jump right into it. I know I will have to, uh, buy a internal hard drive bigger than this. This is only 825 gigabytes which isn't even a terabyte. I think the PlayStation 5 was 500 gigabytes and I put a two terabyte in my PlayStation 4 and it's full. So that's cool. This is the disc version. We couldn't even get our hands on the, I mean, I, I assumed I had no problem with the disc version. I don't have disc games anymore because you just download them online usually. Uh, so that's kind of, and not really, it's a, it's a better thing in general because I mean, I probably won't buy any discs anymore, but if I do, I have that option. Or like if I want to watch a movie on it, but that's very rare as well, but always an option. So first of all, there's a double case in here. Actually, I should take this. Let me take this one out. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah. So this is just the outer case. I'll set that aside. And then you have your white case here, which opens up on the top, like so. I'm trying to do this, show you guys everything, and also get into it. So right on top, you have your, let's pick this up. I'll pick this up for you. Right on top, you have your controller here, which I have not even, I didn't do a whole lot of, I've done my research on PlayStation 5, but uh, you've got your typical manual. Uh, I'm assuming this is your charging cable for, nope, that's your power cable right here, right on top, along with your controller, what is under here. Under here you have, what is this? I mean, look. don't even know what this is I would assume a stand for the PlayStation don't quote me on that we'll, we'll find out what that's for I'm assuming it's a stand for the PlayStation uh, because of the design they went with and then this is a HDMI cord, which is cool. I already have like a billion of those, but it's always good to have more. So we will set that back down. What's here? This is your, oh, they went with USB-C. Let's go. Uh, your USB-C cable for your controller, uh, which is nice because I never have enough. I own, first of all, what I'm recording on my GoPro is USB-C. And I also own the Google Pixel. This is a three. Uh, this uses USB-C as well. USB-C is very, very nice. Um, it seems like it seems like the old style that they had, like for PlayStation Three, was super. You could wiggle the cable and it would not work. PlayStation Four, I haven't had that many issues with the cable. I've had this cable attached to this one for a long time now, and it seems to charge just fine. Uh, 
but USB-C will be a, a nice upgrade. Plus, the speed, it, it charges a lot faster uh, speed-wise. So we'll take this top layer out, so that's off. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's in here. I was really hoping that I would open this and there wouldn't be a Jory Foreman grill or a Nerf gun. If you haven't done your research on that one, I would suggest it. It's not, I was gonna say it's funny, but it's not funny at all. There's so many people that have bought PlayStations and gotten a Jory Foreman grill or a Nerf gun or something of the sort, um, which I mean, that ain't right. You shouldn't have to spend all your money on a PlayStation. There's two end caps on this and then you get a freaking George Foreman grill or something like that out of it. Oh, this is slick. Super slick. Even. All right, so this is the PS5, ladies and gentlemen. So on the back, you've got two, two USB, I was trying to see what this is. I think that's a USB-C, two USB ports, your ethernet port, HDMI, and then your power. So two USB-C, um, sorry, 3.0s. So those are 3.0s, a ethernet port, HDMI, and your power cable. Uh, here's the front. You have a USB, doesn't look like 3.0, but it might be a USB-C plug and power in your disc out. I'm assuming that the other ones don't have a disc out on theirs the ones that don't have uh all that stuff okay there's a button here which i'm not gonna press but i'm assuming is for is for uh resets of some sorts man this is slick it is absolutely heavy uh i will probably do let me set this down a side-by-side -side comparison of the two versus playstation versus like PS4 versus PS5, um, but that is cool. And I think that is the end of the box. Nothing else in there. So that's good. Uh, let me close this all up. I will try to put this all back actually. I have a hoarding problem of boxes. I save all my boxes for some reason. Like I think that was the PC builder in me. Like whenever I built my PC, I was like, ah, I need to save all this stuff because as far as like remembering the parts that I bought for them, I'm like, I have people ask me, you know, uh, would you put in your PC? I'm like, well, I paid about this amount of money, but as far as what's in it, I don't remember because I built it like three years ago. Uh, so I usually save all that stuff so I can remember. I can just go glance at my shelf of multiple boxes and find out that way. Uh, this goes down, this goes up, and this can go back in this box right here, like so. That is the unboxing as far as that goes. Like I said, this is your HDMI, USB-C, power cable. I didn't even get to the controller yet. Oh, this thing is slick. This feels a lot... Yeah, this is much li lighter. Is it? It feels a lot lighter. Um, so I'm assuming you still have your options, your share, which they don't say that, but I'm like I said, I'm willing to assume that's the case. Uh, your PlayStation button down here, X, circle, triangle, square, your usual controller. Um, they have a mic mute button on the controller. I don't use that. Uh, that's for like your one headphone piece. I did not see, now that I think about it, I think my PlayStation 4 came with a a crappy mic or a headphone, but I did not see one in this. I'm assuming, they assume you have a mic by now. I use the Yeti, as you can tell. Um, it's a blue Yeti, and then I hook two of my Logitech headsets. Uh, I know a lot of people use Astros or A50s or whatever, which is fine, but I don't use that's a wired or a wireless headset, but I don't even turn them on. Like it runs through an aux cord into my Blue Yeti and then it's noise canceling and all that good jazz. So, but I will do right now a side-by-side -side comparison. So give me one second.
So this is your side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, the PlayStation 5 is easily a good three, four inches taller than your PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 on the left, PS5 on the right. Uh, much thicker. I assume... Oh, okay, well, I, I know this thing is going to have to stand up. I've always laid my PS4 down. I'm wondering if that's what this is for right here. Just to lay it down. I've always laid my PS4 down. I don't like things to stand up like this because if something tips over, I mean, if you're, if you're tugging on something hard enough for it to fall off while it's laying down, that's one thing. But if this to, were to tip over and something is wrecked in it, it's a big deal. I'd rather not have that happen to where I don't think you can lay these down. I have no clue. I'm assuming you can. Yeah, see? That bottom piece is so you can lay things down. Okay, so I will probably have mine laying down. That's just because that's how I, I prefer things. I don't like things tipping over, like I said. But uh, that is your PS5 unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys being here, supporting me every single time and what I do. Um, if you would do me a favor, go in the comment section and say thank you Burr because this video would have never happened if I didn't have such a fantastic wife. She uh, means the world to me, she does everything for me. I don't know what I would do without her and she is just the best thing I've ever been given. So thank you. Uh, like I said, let her know. Um, let her know that she is wonderful. I think that's all I have to tell you. I have plenty of vlogs coming up, plenty of gaming videos coming up. This will give me a lot more gaming videos. I haven't had, I don't even have a game for this yet, but I will eventually. So this will give me a lot more gaming videos uh, in the future and more content for you guys. So hopefully you guys uh, stick around for the rest of the content. I know uh, my funny videos or my funny moments videos you guys seem to enjoy. So I'll be making more, I promise.